Okay guys, let's check out the Mega Hobby Expo 2023. Of course, we're gonna check out what uh, Kobukiya has brought to the table here. So, as you guys can see here, of course, we're going with the Gagaigar here, which is pretty much the Inferno one, the one with the fire, which looks pretty awesome. Now, I do want to point out a lot of the things that you're gonna see here is pretty much the same thing we already saw at Wonder Festival. Just a different look. Gotta say, this head looks awesome. That is pretty cool. And um, I do know that Bandai does the Gundam bust as well, which is pretty nice. Um, but I don't know. For some reason, I've never been a fan of. You know, I, I like them because they look cool, but I guess since I don't have the space to have all of them and they can get pretty expensive, that's why I don't get them. Because you think that I would, but I, I don't. Of course, we got their mic gain, which is pretty darn cool. Of course, this is the full on mic gain, the full transformation, which looks pretty cool. Here's the other Go Gaga I got. There from Amakuni. And it's looking great. It's pretty nice. And here you can see that. Boom. Different transformations, different robots. And this guy, right? So that's a little preview of what's coming next. Now you can see some statues, which looks pretty nice. I think these are from Fantasy Star Online. You can see it there. So pretty nice. If you're a fan of this series, then you're probably gonna be getting her soon. So nice, but like I said, not a lot. And pretty much all the stuff now. Let's go to Anime Plex Plus, and we can see more. And again, yeah, we're getting Guren Langa stuff, but we already saw it, right? We already saw all these figures again. Kenshin looks great, but I still stand that they should have made his whole outfit fabric. I get why you make the skirt, but come on, the rest of the body should have been also fabric. Would be so much better. As you can see, pretty much, you know, pretty much the same thing. You know, there is nothing really that, nothing that really stands out that we haven't seen before. Oh, we're getting a version 2 of this guy as well. Okay, so we already got version 2 of Ringo, do some more. Darn. Darn. I don't, I don't know, honestly. What do you guys think about this, about the versions 2? Like, if you already have version 1. I, I know some people upgraded to the Rengoku, but, you know, if you have the whole cast and they're all gonna be V2s at some point, like... Is it really fair? I really don't think so. I think if you're gonna do any V2s, like, you can do it, but do it years later. Like, four, four or five years later, then yeah, do it. But a year, two, couple months, nah. But, you guys can see here. This is the B2 statue, not the, the 2B, I mean, the 2B statue, not the actual uh, figure that we're going to be getting. So, nice statues, nice figures, but again, this is all stuff that we have already seen. All this is stuff that we have already seen. Nothing really new. So, not much, I mean, these company, Kadokawa, Kobuki, uh, Good Smile tend to, you know, show everything that they have at Wonder Festival and then it's like, yeah, you, you get to see them again, but not that much. Still, so, our own intention will be pretty darn awesome, but we'll have to wait and see again. 
give me the full fabric alpha maybe that's what they're gonna do maybe they're gonna release this one and then the b2 is gonna be the one that has the full fabric alpha which in my opinion will make this figure so much better and by the way don't worry about this stick here going through the freaking foot don't worry it's not gonna be like that at the end it's just a prototype so no. it, it can be very fragile and they just put that there so you know stays there it's a prototype don't worry so hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time